There are some little surprises inside. Much love from my family to yours. Figure Kong, AKA the Bruh. What is happening, fellow collectors, fellow subscribers, fellow hunters? What's up, guys? I, I missed you. I know it's been a minute uh, since I have uploaded, but I'm uploading today. I got some time today. It's Saturday. Got no kid. Got no. Uh, Mary's not with me. She's out with her cousins doing some things. So it's me and my toys and you guys today. Why is it focusing on my toys so much? Focus on this pretty face. Thank you. My shelves look terrible. This is what happens, you know, after a couple of weeks, I'm sure all of you know, um, your toys just start to fall overnight. When you're sleeping, when you're gone at work, you come back, um, uh, okay, that one's on me. That one happened when I was on live, uh, when I was live on Instagram, I knocked down my whole Ant-Man setup, so that's my fault. But all of this, man, all of this fell over time. Um, you know, come back from work, and it looks like my figures had a war for themselves. So, um, it's Saturday, I got time today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix all of this, straighten it up, repose some figures maybe. Um, standing back up, got my X-Men knocked down up there. Uh, a lot is going on up here that I don't want to know about. Um, man. So, I gotta deal with that. Uh, the rest of this looks okay right now. It's doing alright. I'm gonna go ahead and try to stick that new Hydra cap up there in the Hydra zone. Um, and aside from that, as you guys can see, I kind of fixed my shelf over here. Put up some of my favorite figures. Um, here I got my NECA figures, as you guys all know, I have already. Uh, my main scary guys. Um, got that statue right there I got from a special friend on Instagram. Looking sweet. Got the Punisher Mobile that you guys saw me create last video. Got the Marvel Legends body with the Mezco Punisher head right there. And finally opened my X-Force Deadpool that I have had boxed up for a couple of months now. So there he is looking sweet on the bike. Him and Punisher just handling some business right there. Very nice. And down here I have some of my, uh, three of my favorite figures, a couple of my favorites. Got my Mezco Punisher of course. Got Thanos, SH Figuarts Thanos, and Michael Myers, Mezco. This pumpkin is Jack Lantern. Uh, down here I got my bots. Yeah, believe it or not, these, these are all the bots I own. Um, for now, Megatron. I got this crappy thing from Walmart. These things are $5, and I figure, hey, if I can't get a classic uh, G1 looking Starscream anytime soon, I might as well just squeeze that guy in there. I literally found him at Walmart for five bucks. I thought he looked cool. So I stuck him on there next to Megatron. I don't think it looks that bad. Optimus Prime, got a Gundam bot here. Looks like crap. It's missing all his accessories, but uh, I stuck him up there because that's one of Chloe's favorite um, bots that I have that she likes to play with. My Gundam bot. And uh, Side Drift, right? Yeah, got him up there. Oh, let's not forget Barricade that I made an awesome trade with T Man 978. Um, very nice. Thank you, T-Man. This is the most basic DC shelf ever, but, uh, these are all the ones that I have right now. All the rest are in storage, um, or in boxes. Got Hellboy right there. Light can't really pick it up. It's acting funky. Okay, there we go. Martian Manhunter, Batman, Superman, Black Adam. I need to go ahead and get me a uh, Captain Marvel figure. To put next to Shazam there. Possibly the uh, DC film one. The, the one that just came out for the movie. And of course we have the Flash. I've had that Flash ever since I ever started collecting. So I'm proud to have them up there. <clears throat> Down here we got my Zillas. My Godzillas. You could probably barely see because the light sucks. Got my Infinity Gauntlet. Rick and Morty. Bruce Lee doing his thing. Yep. 
So that just does it for now, guys. So let me lay out my plan for you guys of what I'm gonna be doing today. My MCU shelf is finally gonna come to a change. Uh, not so much over here, not that much over here, but right here in the center. Um, I didn't make a video on it, and I apologize for that. It was kind of just in the moment. Um, it was something I was doing after work. Um, I made my very own diorama rock mountain out of styrofoam. Literally found some styrofoam at work. Um, chopped it up with the X exacto knife. Cut off the edges there. I glued the two extra pieces here on top. Cut those down too. Um, painted it. Just got to add some black wash to it, but I think it looks okay right now. Um, I painted it and this was the finished product. Plan on sticking that right there in the center with Thanos on the very top. Um, I recently just purchased, sorry about the mess here, I'm kind of going through figures that I need to add to my shelf. Got some friend mail I need to go through as well. Um, but for now, here we have Proxima Midnight that I picked up from Frankensons for 15 bucks. Um, really needed her on my shelf. Now I'm just waiting for Corvius Glaive and um, Ebony Maw to stick up here with them. The Black Order, and then we got uh, Big Boy back there. Okay, so that's my plan for today at least, to stick that up there, make a nice leading um, MCU, kind of leading up to Thanos like they are right now, but just a little bit more elevation added to it, a little bit more, um, uh, what do you call it? I wanna make it a bit more dramatic. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna do that. Another plan that I have, I'm not sure if I'm gonna to get to it today or not. Um, for those of you who follow the Marvel Legends news, you saw the new Iron, infamous Iron Man that was released that a lot of people are disappointed about. Some people are, they don't really care, they, they're gonna get it anyways. I, on the other hand, I was very disappointed that we didn't get a classic Doom after collecting all those Fantastic Four figures, classic Fantastic Four figures, only to get an infamous Iron Man as a Walgreens exclusive, I was pissed. I have been waiting years and years as a Marvel Legends collector to have a classic Doom for once on my shelf. So, I figure it's gonna be another year maybe. Maybe sooner. Maybe they, they will come to their senses and make a classic Doom. Hasbro, that is. But for now, if they don't, I guess I have no choice but to take justice into my own hands and create my very own custom Dr. Doom. And I have a few options on doing that. It's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be amazing, but it's something to just have a Doom up there, you know, a Doom that I like. Not really much into the Toy Biz one, it never stands by itself, I hate that. Um, but my plan is to create a custom with two separate bodies. Um, I gotta choose one though. The first option is going to be this Batman vs. Superman DC Multiverse figure. I'm going to pop off the head, pop off the cape, um, go to the craft store, pick up a green cloth, and kind of cut my own cape. Um, add some details here and there, maybe repaint it. That's my option right there. Or I can use this Taskmaster body mold and uh, do the same thing. Go uh, pop off the head, um, get the Doctor Doom head that I have, pop it on here, do some repainting, and add a cloth cape. That's Those are my two options. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that today. Um, I don't want to ruin my Taskmaster figure yet. Um, this one, on the other hand, I could probably get uh, an extra one, because I really do love this figure by itself. But I really need a Dr. Doom on my shelf, so I'm going to make it happen, man. I'm, if I want it that bad, I'm going to make it my own self if Hasbro's not going to make one. So, that's another thing I have going on today. Okay, guys, so I'm almost done with my MCU shelf here, fixing it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of friend mail that came in. It's going to go right next to that Winter Soldier Captain America. Um, I think you guys might know who that is. Um, this is a trade I did. Look at this mess. This is a trade I did with a buddy of mine named Patrick Thrasher. Um, his Instagram name is Figures and Chill. 
So thank you so much, Patrick, for this wonderful trade. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This was a good trade indeed. This is another targeted figure that I had for a while uh, from my MCU shelf. She looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Widow. This is the uh, this is the Avengers Black Widow. Um, what I wanted to do though, I wanted the head sculpt with the long straight hair from Winter Soldier. Um, my buddy couldn't find his, so um, I'm gonna have to do with the Avengers one for now. Uh, but I like it. It's a very good look. I love this ScarJo. ScarJo with the short hair from Avengers. Very very nice. Very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and stick her next to Captain America, so it kind of has like a Winter Soldier vibe. Um, those two are like a team. Those two are like brother and sister. Although we wish that they were lovers, which they're not, they're going to go next to each other. Okay, and there you guys have it. It's Black Widow with Steve Rogers. Threw a pistol in her hand. Looks pretty good. Yeah, boy. Okay, so I have one more piece of friend mail here. This one is from Felix Zamet. He's a good friend of mine um, that I talk to a lot on Instagram. Me and him chatted up. We give each other ideas, you know, for our shelf, um, for our figure customs. He's a real cool guy. He is a father like me. And his Instagram, I will leave in the description below. He goes by the Artistic Wolf 25. Artistic Wolf likes to be generous and send me some things here and there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, check out what Felix sent me. This guy does a lot of cool customs, and, and he thinks of figure customs that I never even would have thought of in my life. Um, so I like to copy some of his ideas. Sorry, Felix. Popping it open. Oh, boy. All right, we got a little letter right here. You know I'm going to read on camera. Hey, bro. Sorry for the delay, but better late than never. Hope you enjoy this bro box. There are some little surprises inside. Much love from my family to yours. Figure Kong, a.k.a. The... Bruh. Okay, that was terrible. Figure Kong, a.k.a. The Artistic Wolf. You went and added a little photo right there. Mike the Hunter. I like that, dude. I'm going to add that somewhere special. That looks sick. Hey, thanks, man. So he said he added some surprises in here, so let's go ahead and... Are you serious right now, dude? <laughs> Good Lord! You have got to be kidding me, man. This is the World War II Bumblebee. He saw that I've, I I got the bots, and look at that. Dude, it's the World War II Bumblebee, man. I didn't have a Bumblebee uh, to add to my shelf, and now I have one to add. That thing looks sick. Thanks, Felix. Damn, bro. Thank you. Bro. Bro, I can't. Can't handle this right now. Are you serious? God. Felix, you son of a gun. Oh my God. The neck of Michael Myers. The neck of Michael Myers, bro. Bro, I was going to hunt him down. But Felix, you're generous enough, man. Dude, you're spoiling me right now. I, there's, there's more in this box. I don't even. Oh, God. Dude, I don't even know what to son of a gun. Oh my god, dude. He done threw in this beauty. I was going to grab her from Walgreens. And he said, you know what, bro? I got you. I got you, bro. Man. Dude, I really don't know what to say. I can't say thank you enough. I mean... Oh, dude. Shuri, I can add to my MCU shelf. God, man, thanks, bro. Really. Felix, man, I, I, I don't know what to say, dude. I'm like, I'm feeling super spoiled right now, dear God Almighty. Dude. 
another figure to add to my MCU shelf. Dude. I don't know what to say, Felix. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to owe you back for sure. I'm going to make you a box of your own because this is a lot, okay? This is not something like, you know, like, hey, you know, let's go ahead and take it, bro. It's, bro, it's all good. It's, it's all love, bro. It's all love. This is more than love. This is a bro moment. And he told me he was sending this. The MCU Thor uh, ten, 10 year anniversary two pack with this beauty. And these are going on the shelf as well. Look at that head sculpt on that Thor. I love it. I love the look of it. <sighs> okay, so I, I think that is finally it out of the box. Right? There's a bunch of padding in here, okay. Wow, that is probably the most spoiled box ever. Very generous. Hey man, I want to thank you personally on camera for everything that you do, for um, being so generous, for wanting to help me out with my collection. Um, I wish the best to you and your family. This is nothing but blessings, man. And and to have you as a, as a cool friend in my life that supports me, checks up on me, you know, in my personal life as well. I'm very thankful to have you as a friend. Oh, no, oh God, okay, I'm going home. Very thankful to have you as a friend, um, as a brother. So, I'm gonna owe you back, man. Now I just gotta work on space. I mean, I'm, I'm working on this right now. So I'm thinking I will stick the Thor two pack back there in this little Thor area. The Iron Man, however, is gonna have to come over here I'm gonna have to make a spot for the uh, the Iron Man area. Wow, I am so stoked right now, dude. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. I went to the theaters to watch it twice. Me being a Michael Myers fan, he's my one, number one top favorite serial killer in the world. Um, I finally have a NECA figure of this one. Looks really good. Damn. Feels like Christmas, man. We're in we're in mid March, and this feels like Christmas. Whew, all right, we got work to do. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and added those MCU figures from Felix right there. Tony Stark, kind of a, an original Iron Man feel right there. And I stuck those two right there from the two pack. Looks like Thor's hair is just flowing in the wind. Looks good. And this is the finish product with the diorama. Go ahead and switch on the light here. So there you have it. Let me see what happens if I change the lighting so we can match that white light. I'll get my remote here. And let's see how that looks with that light. That looks good as well. Has kind of an end game look to it. So, went ahead, uh, went ahead and stuck Thanos at the top there. Next to Gamora and Nebula. Um, kind of as like, you know, they're stuck as kind of like prisoners, you know, you could tell they don't want to be there. Um, you know, the amount of crap that Gamora is going through, she's just on her knees, um, just in tragic emotion. You got Nebula stuck next to Thanos. Went ahead and put Cap up there. Looking good. Next to Rocket. Spidey, looking nice with that pose. Black Panther, got Black Widow. I'm showing you guys all the figures that are on this diorama. And we got Iron Man. Went ahead and stuck Proxima Midnight back there. She's kind of tilted in a weird, awkward way. Gotta fix that. I don't like that. It looks weird. There we go. So there you have Proxima Midnight. Looking good. I like it. I like the way this came out. And uh, went ahead and changed up the gang over here. Team Star-Lord. Went ahead and changed the head on the Hulk to a more serious tone. Right next to Captain Marvel. 
and these two are the same. Went ahead and changed up the Ant-Man area. Sizing up. Put Antony right there. He's missing his wings. I can't find his other wings, so I just didn't want to put one on him. So there he is as an ant. Yellow jacket. Thor Ragnarok side. Okay. And then, uh, so that's the Endgame slash Infinity War um, center. Changed it up a little bit over here, too. I brought these two closer. Uh, Thor is still in the same spot. Went ahead and I didn't want to put this cap to waste, so I stuck him in front of Bucky. Uh, cap kind of leading Bucky through battle. Went ahead and uh, brought Ant-Man and the Wasp over here. Right in front of Ultron. Shuri! Went ahead and stuck Shuri right there from Felix. I think she looks cool. I like the accessories that that figure comes with. Very nice. And there's the Winter Soldier zone. Here you have the Black Panther area. Wakanda. Nick Fury. Stuck him next to Iron Man and Captain America. Getting, getting a, a Civil War vibe here. Crossbones. Spider-Man Homecoming area right here. Got Vulture in the back. And here is the cool part. I went ahead and stuck all my defenders that I have up on this top shelf. Along with the Punisher right here. Electra. Claire Temple. I think that looks nice. I went ahead and, and finally pulled the trigger on that Luke Cage 2-pack. Thought, hey man, if I don't get him now, I don't think I'm ever going to get him, so... Just pulled the trigger, and I do not regret it. He looks great on my shelf, right next to Jessica Jones. I do not have the uh, SDCC um, Danny Rand, so that's just going to have to do for now. Looks all right. I love it. And, of course, the Daredevil. So there you guys have it. There's my MCU shelf. Um, did an update. Fixed it up. I think it looks good. Hopefully nothing falls. Um, absolutely love that diorama. You guys can do this yourselves. All you got to do is find some styrofoam in your trash can, paint it up. Painting's probably the most funnest part about it. It, it looks hard, but it's not. Uh, you can carve it out to whatever shape you want. Just chip away at the styrofoam with, the, with an X-Acto knife. Once that's done, glue them together, stack them, paint them, and before you know it, you have yourself a rock mountain. It's very easy. So, there you guys have it. Let me know what you think. Um... Uh, now I know, <laughs> I know a lot of you think, or no, I know a lot of you are thinking, Hey Mike, how are we supposed to let you know what we think if we can't comment on your posts, if we can't comment on your videos? First off, it's not my fault that, uh, my comments are disabled. It's some stupid thing going on with YouTube, um, to prevent predatorial comments. And this goes for all family vlogging channels that, um, have minors in their videos so it's ridiculous everyone's mad about it but there's nothing we can do so for now you guys just can't comment directly on my youtube videos but i do have the idea of i will uh, leave my instagram link below and if you guys want to tell me what you thought of that recent uh video that i just posted go ahead and click the link and go comment on the picture of my newest video that way I could still get your guys' feedback because I, I enjoy reading your guys' comments. I really do. So there's that idea. Let me know what you guys think. The rest of this, uh, guys, I've been at this for like three hours now and I'm kind of tired. My back's starting to get a little, uh, little worn out. Um, so I'm going to finish this another day. This comic book, uh, Marvel Knights shelf. Spideyverse is looking good. So MCU took a lot of work. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Um, I'm going to run to the store um, and see what I can do about my Doctor Doom custom. Going to go try to find some green cloth. Um, the thing that sucks is I cannot find my Doctor Doom um, mask anywhere. Um, the one that I was planning on putting on the custom. So I don't know. It might not work out today. I have to look for that thing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go eat and relax for a bit, 
go to the craft store, see what I can find. And uh, I'll, I'll film the rest of that for another video for you guys to see. Man, tell you what though, posing really takes the energy out of you. It does. Ugh. Man, I really love the way that came out. X-Force Deadpool. I love it. It looks neat. It looks how a toy sh it looks exactly how a toy shelf should look. Very neat and organized. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for the friends who sent me the gifts. God bless you. Good hunting brothers and uh, I'll be uh, keeping in touch. With that being said, enjoy your figs, enjoy your families, and as always, good hunting. Peace!